Happy Day of the African Child. That is what we are celebrating today under the theme Eliminating Harmful Practices Affecting Children, Progress on Policy and Practice Since 2013. Today we are joined by Nicole Limbo, who is a proud African child. Good evening, Nicole, and welcome to the show. Hi, Matthew. Thank you for having me today. Uh, so if you don't mind, may we please start with the questions? Of course, no problem. Okay, so why are you proud of being an African child? Wow, among many, many reasons as to why I'm proud to be an African child, I think one of the main ones is how diverse Africa is, and not to mention how strong and powerful we are. I mean, look at how long and hard our ancestors fought for us to be here as African children, for us to enjoy freedom as African children. So. One of the things I'm proud of is our diversity. Okay, so what do you want to be when you grow up and what difference do you want to make? Definitely something within politics. I believe that in order to make a difference, we need power and influence. We need to be able to make decisions that can benefit the majority as a whole. So when I grow up, I want to be a politician and ensure that everybody has equal rights, we have equal opportunities, that we are all able to access the basic necessities that we need. What are some of the harmful practices you know that are affecting African children in this day and age? Well, there are so many of them. Uh, we have to talk about how, you know, in Africa we have so many traditions that we are taught to follow. One of the harmful practices that I believe is, is really prevailing even in modern day is the son over daughter preference. Although we are all, you know, children of Africa, I feel like the girl child is often disadvantaged in the sense that they prefer the boy child over it. So I think that it's about time that we get over that point and we start to look towards equality, especially for children, so that they can grow up understanding that we are all the same, we should all have access to equal opportunities, we should all have education and so forth. So I think one of the most harmful practices is definitely son preference over daughter. How do you think we can make a change to that? <laughs> it starts with raising awareness, I believe. I believe that, especially in the era that we live in, we are so lucky to have social media platforms such as Instagram or TikTok that are so popular. I think if we can spread the word and tell people that, you know, we're all the same after all. We're all equal, we all deserve education. We all deserve health care. We all deserve the best that the world can offer to us. If we can spread awareness and tell people that this is wrong and this is right, I believe that we could eventually get to a standpoint where we have fair ground for everybody. Yeah. So as an African child, how best can you help your fellow African children? As an African child, like I mentioned, raising awareness using my social media and my opportunities and platforms such as these to spread awareness. I can also ensure that I'm aware of my rights and I make everybody around me aware of their rights as well so that they can be practiced responsibly. So you're on social media, right? Yes. Do you think it's good for children, for African children to start social media at a young age? That's a very, that's a very controversial question, Matthew. Um, to some extent, yes. I think with the right guidelines and, and uh, with parents ensuring that they're um, exposed to the right things, yes, because sometimes, especially in African homes, we don't receive the amount of knowledge that we should because it's seen as a taboo. Certain topics are seen as a taboo. And sometimes social media is the only way through which um, children are able to access such information. Mm -hmm. So definitely, I think at least from the age of... 13, a child should have access to social media to be exposed to things that they cannot witness in person, but, you know, have awareness about it. What special message would you like to give children watching us at home now? To the kids watching us at home now, be loud, be proud, be African. It's very difficult growing up in a continent that is uh, seen as below everybody else or disadvantaged but you have the capability to be better than this and you have the opportunities and the platforms to be the best that you can possibly be. So go ahead and do just that. Thank you, Nicole. It's been a pleasure having you here. So for now, we're gonna move on to the break. <laughs> 